Hey everybody, Tierra Girls Green here. Wanted to do a quick video and show you my beauty basket full of deodorants that just do not work. If you're anything like me and have been on a natural journey, just trying to find natural products in order to shift over to things that you want and just be more intentional about your beauty regimen. But along this path, you will find so many different things just don't work personally for you. Now here's my basket and we're gonna go through a few of the things that just didn't work for me. So if it worked for you, if it works for your brand, if it works for your body, absolutely amazing. But let's just get straight to it, shall we? I have purchased just about every single natural deodorant on the market, and these are just the ones that were actually still in my house. So there's all sorts of brands. We have Schmidt. This one burned me. Instead of it being, it definitely held and it was anti-perspirant. And one of the things that you will realize with a lot of the natural products is they're not anti-perspirant, so you're supposed to sweat. But with this one in particular, I didn't sweat. So of course I bought it in every single combination, every single fragrance that I possibly could. I know there's a couple other ones in here. This one burned me. So I said, okay, let me not, you know, you just got a little, discoloration under your arms and I got all of the stuff under there. So it just took a couple of days for the skin to regenerate itself. It worked, it smelled good, but it burned. So I said, let me go ahead and get the sensitive skin one. So they also have a nice sensitive skin one and this one's in a coconut pineapple fragrance. Both of them work. Once again, this one burned as well. And I was a little bit more sweaty with these. So Smith's is a no-go for Tierra. I also found these awesome deodorants by Play Pit. Once again, I like variety. I like to smell different all the time. So I have this one in sugar and this one in sunshine. Once again, amazing, amazing products. I love the packaging, love the way that they smell. But also, they did not work for me. So they smelled awesome. They did not hold the funk. I got a little funky. I definitely got a little funky with these. And I sweated profusely with these. So these are also a no-go for Tierra. Now, I don't know how they make these little magical salt situations with the crystal essence. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So I always keep these on standby just in case. And I have them in every single scent. So this one is the lavender white tea. This one's just a regular. I have the spray. <laughs> I like this one the best. This one smells absolutely amazing. So if I'm on an air, if I'm going through an airport, if I'm going through a crowded space or something like that, and I just want to make sure that I am, you know, smelling my absolute best and I have it in the solid. None of them work ideally. They're temporary, so they may hold you for an hour. They may hold you for a little bit more. Me personally, it actually intensified my um, sweat glands and it makes me even more sweaty. So I still use them from time to time if I'm going through one of those environments, but overall, no go. Why don't the natural deodorants work? <laughs> it's part of the process. Primal Pace, yes, Primal Pace. This one was awesome. As you see, I used it up for a while, just trying to give it time in order to allow it to just adhere to my body and allow my body to naturally adapt to it. Overall, over time, it turned a lot of my clothes, discoloration, it turned it yellow. I love the smell, love the packaging. This one I purchased for $13 at a local health store. Was really excited about it. Heard awesome, amazing things about it. But once more, did not work. I found this probably through an influencer on Instagram. Don't remember who, but I'm glad that they recommended it because once again, I was excited about it. And I was going through a space where I wanted to find things that I can actually rub on as opposed to stick my fingers in because it gets gunky and then you wipe it on the towels or try to find other places in order to wipe the thing. So I wanted something that I can actually, you know, rub on. So this one was by Rustic Mama or Maka, excuse me. And this one's called Dreamcatcher. Now this one smells like an absolute dream. It smells absolutely amazing. And I am one, I am a sucker for packaging and labels. So if your label is outstanding and your packaging is outstanding, nine times out of 10, I'm going to purchase it just because I appreciate great packages. But also this one did not work at all. It didn't keep me dry. It didn't keep down the funk. It didn't 
do anything that it was said that it was going to do or anything that I was actually excited about. So, and I purchased it in two different ones. So this one's the Lemongrass Gardens and then this one's the Dream Catcher. Neither one of these were. Now I wish there was a great place that I could just donate all of these two, but I'm not sure if people are pretty much in the market of just like trying other people's deodorants. <laughs> but I promise I've only used them like once or two times just to try to see exactly how everything was going. Here's the other one by um, Rustic Mama. Now this one was a activated charcoal magnesium one. I was excited about there because you know it definitely detoxifies and it's very antioxidant and with activated charcoal and magnesium it's naturally absorbent. So none of them work. Milk and honey. Now this was my go-to in the winter time. Excuse me, this was my go-to in the winter time for my deodorant because it smells absolutely amazing. It worked really good during workouts, but eventually over time, I'd say I probably use it for a solid maybe three seasons, and then it started burning me. So maybe, you know, everybody's bodies naturally adjust and they start adapting to whatever it is that nature actually has for you. So this over time definitely stopped working. It worked for a while, but then it stopped. And then this one also, you will sweat profusely as well. Now I sweat like a tailback, I'm not sure about you, but that's part of the process. I look forward to my sweat. I want all the toxins and anything that is emitting through me to come out. So that's a natural way of life and that is the life process. But this one I sweated a whole bunch more. Green Goo. Found this one in like a little TJ Maxx or Ross or probably Tuesday morning. One of those discount stores that I was excited about. So I found it absolutely smells amazing. This is a lemongrass and sage fragrance. Absolutely outstanding. But ideally did not work immediately and burned me instantly. Now, these burns, these underarm burns, I'm not sure if it's the baking soda. I'm not sure if it's the arrowroot. I'm not sure if it's the calendula. I'm not sure exactly what it is that's causing these types of reactions now, but nothing is working in the natural world as far as deodorant. So smells amazing. You try it for yourself. It's all trial and error. As you see, I have a huge basket full of all of my trial and errors. So don't be afraid to go ahead and purchase a few products. Some stores, you can definitely take the things back and actually get your money back if you are in a financial bind. But just understand that that's part of the process with anything, it's all about learning. Here's another natural deodorant by Green Tidings that I actually got in a gift bag. Um, got this in a gift bag, absolutely smells amazing. It's a lavender scent. So this one definitely didn't work. It, it didn't work at all. It smelled outstanding. Sometimes if I'm out in the park because lavender is a natural insect repellent, I'll just take some of this and like rub it on my ankles or whatever area is actually exposed to keep the bugs away. But overall, it didn't work. <laughs> now this one, this one was like everything when I seen it. It comes in this beautiful box. Look at the packaging. It looks like the Northern Lights. It makes you feel all spacious and space cadet -y. Now this one, I would definitely say, is absolutely outstanding. Now, it just says next level deodorant. It doesn't, what is the, it doesn't really tell me what the brand is. Light as air. Light as air? Maybe that is the brand, light as air. Absolutely amazing packaging. Well, not so much now after the fact. I use the hell out of this. This one works, and this one smells great, and this one also comes in a little click up situation, as you see. We like that. But the downside to this is the price. This is a $27 deal. Now that's just fucking absurd. That, it's just absurd. But if that's in your tax bracket, by all means, go ahead and purchase you a $27 deal. It works, it keeps you dry, it smells amazing. The packaging is outstanding. I purchased it just to see like, well, shit, what y'all got going on. It's actually worth every single ounce of the money, but it's still $27 for deodorant. So I purchased it once and unfortunately, I have not been a return customer, but I am a fan of this brand in particular. Okay, now, this was my absolute favorite brand, natural deodorant to the end of time. I, I definitely recommended it so much over the years. Handmade everything. And if you do not know or anything about Tierra Goes Green, I am a super, super fan of handmade creations and handmade products. So I was an instant fan the moment that I found this. Now this brand is called Fran Nong 
organics. Now this, her free me deodorants, I've had them, um, this one's in mango, and I had the cherry blossom one. I had her fusion one, um, and all of those are just different fragrances within, within her brand. Absolutely amazing. Now I used it for a consistent, at least two to three years, and then just lately it started burning me. So I have not used this within the past year just because it started burning me. Now it's very fragrant. It's very fragrant. So if you have any type of sensitivities or allergies or anything like that, be mindful of that. But this is also one of the ones that I necessarily didn't care for, even though it's absolutely outstanding to dip my finger in and then wipe under and then you got fine access. I just didn't want the stuff on my hands. And that's just a personal thing. Some people don't mind. I definitely didn't mind. But Friend Knock actually works. This one is absolutely outstanding, but as I said, lately, I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> it has burned me, so I personally just put this one to the side, and I said I'm pretty much overall done. So here is a whole box of all sorts of natural deodorant recommendations. These are the personal ones that I have at my house. I probably won't throw away. I allow friends to come over and actually use whatever is in your beauty box and your beauty basket. And I allow all of those things to actually come into play. Now, a few tips in order to make sure that your body odor is definitely at bare minimum. One, you have to detox. If you have not done an extensive detox, and I'm not talking about a 10 day or seven day juice cleanse. I'm talking about really concentrating on cleaning out your colon, your kidney, your liver, your spleen, your pancreas, really making sure that you are doing intentional actions and movements and really allowing those body, those internal organs to be cleansed thoroughly. Um, do a detox, please, please, please. I definitely recommend a detox. The best detox that I have done to date, and it's 2019, has been by Dr. Bobby Price. So you can go on drbobbyprice.com and look up his detox. Absolutely amazing. But that's one that actually hits every single organ that is inside of you that definitely needs, needs work and attention. And we all can stand room for improvement. It's not about weight loss. It's not about, you know, anything. It's literally just about allowing your health to be the best that it can possibly be. Also, make sure, tip number two, you are taking your chlorella. Now, chlorophyll is basically plant blood, right? So it's basically plant blood. So chlorophyll is basically like plant hemoglobin. So it binds to our blood even better. Chloretta takes out the heavy metals that are in your blood. That's definitely one of the issues when it comes out to, you know, toxins coming through your bloodstream and why you may have an odor. And make sure you're actually taking this on a regular basis. Chlorella is amazing. The benefits are outstanding. So make sure you do a quick Google search. Look on tiericosgreen.com. Take your chlorella on a daily basis. It's also a shortcut to clean out your blood after you did a couple adult craft of beverages. FYI, team no hangover. <laughs> but chlorella does wonders just for the long-term effects of your overall health. So make sure you're ingesting it on a regular basis. Also, get you some twerk wing. Get you some twerk wing. Now, what I actually use now for my natural deodorant is, drum roll, limes. Limes, lemons, it doesn't matter whatever you have access to. Get you some limes, get you some lemon juice, put it in a little spray bottle, spray up underneath your arm. And I just buried it in the bottom of that. But spray it up underneath your arms, rub it under your arms, and also make sure that you are staying light under your arms. There's no burns, there's no, um, nothing acidic be mindful after you shave just give it a little time you might just want to put a little coconut oil or something under there for the time being because <laughs> it will burn but make sure you get you some twerk wind so i'll spray a little bit of my lime juice under there open up the twerk wind shake it up and then i put it right there just to make sure that anything that i'm doing still smells good so there's your fragrance it doesn't have to go under your arm or anything like that so make sure you get you some twerk wind as well. It is very universal. So those are my tips and that is all my natural deodorant selection. So I hope it helped today and please make sure you go on tiergoscreen.com and make your purchase in order to make your life better. Talk to you soon.